Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Queen of Hearts channel. In today's video, I'm back with more of Kingdom Hearts Perilous Pursuit only on Tabletop Simulator. And it is now Riku's turn, and we're at Agrabah. So when we last left off, we technically uh, lost this world, which is the Toy Box. Uh, and we managed to save two worlds, such as the um, Disney Castle and, I think, Hollow Bastion. So, let's see. Before we get started, I wanted to make sure, um, in, in case if we lost one world, do we still win um, the most worlds that we managed to save? But that's the tricky part. Not the tricky part, that's the trick question. So, the win conditions. The game can end in one of three ways. Players wins if six worlds have been saved from Heartless. Players lose if two worlds are overrun, or if um, any player's health is reduced to zero. So I guess that means no, which is a bummer. So I guess that we might have to lose on purpose, but I don't want to. If we manage to save the, if we manage to save five worlds, does that mean we have to start this over? I don't know. That's the question that I'm trying to figure out. But anyway, it is now Riku's turn. And I am going to select all the dice and press R. Here we go. Oh my goodness. This is a reroll. Alright. So, I got three distract. So, let's go ahead and get these three. And I'm definitely going to keep attack, just because, and protect. So, I'm going to... I'm going to activate two things. First, I'm going to activate Riku's attack twice in a row, which is a plus one. So, it goes like this. Oh my goodness. Why do I always... That's... Oh! Help me. Just help me. I was trying to put this pawn piece, this heartless marker, right here. So that's one, two. And I accidentally click on it. See, this is the issue that I have with Tabletop Simulator. But I still love it regardless. Then I'm going to activate the shield to get only one shield. And then I am going to ready this uh, distract. I didn't roll the ability. I That was by accident. So I'm going to go ahead and ready my distract. And that will be it. That will be it. And now I gotta roll the world, which contains one, two, three, four blue dice and one black one. But let's see if Riku has any cards that he can use. He has um, he has a lot of cards in the last video. I could have used the other cards, but I think. Let's see. Hold on. Let's get these. Um, and we only roll once for the world. Okay, so the crown does nothing but two abilities. Um, Riku takes damage. So he can either use the shield or he can take damage. But in my opinion, he's going to have to use the shield to take damage to protect himself. Um, for the Collect Potion, uh, the Heartless go back to plus two once again. Um, Riku is still stuck. And as for the key thing, uh, it goes up right for only once. So already Riku is not doing great. Already this is not going well. 
it's quite obvious that we're not going to save two worlds because we lost the toy box one and now there's a possibility we may lose Agrabah. Speaking of which... There we go. Alright, there's some music here. I want to turn it down just a little bit so that you can hear my commentary. So it's now Kyrie's turn, and let's roll. Okay, that's great. She's going to keep this one. She's going to keep two of these. And she's definitely going to need this. She's going to need that and the crown symbol. Okay, so, I think she's going to set, she's going to set her protection, there we go, and she's going to, let's see how many cards, she has four, so she's going to activate her collect twice in a row. So let's draw two cards for her. She gets another collect card. And, or is it... No, it's not another collect card, but she gets a collect card. And a crown symbol. Um, uh, and then the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this. A uh, crown symbol to, to activate her attack. I didn't roll protect. It was by accident. She's going to attack twice, just like that, because we're trying to save the world. And she's going to activate her distract by rolling, um, by rolling only about four dice for the world. Which means that one blue one has to stay. Alright, let's see what she gets for the world. And also, let's see what kind of cards... No, I did not flip the dice. Let's see what she get. I could have used the ability. I could have used this. I could have used reroll. Protect. Which, by the way, I'm, I am going to use this. I don't, I don't like changing things, but I'm going to use this so that she can get one protection. So Kyrie's going to use this card for her protection. And now she's going to have to roll the world. Let's see what she gets. Ugh. Uh-oh. So, the Heartless goes back up to two spots. And she ends up rolling a shield, which leads to... One right here. We're about to lose the world. And... She is going to take so much damage. So, she's going to go ahead and take it for the team. So, so far, things are not going as planned. But it is quite obvious... It is quite obvious that we're going to lose the world. Well, not lose the world, we're going to lose. Well, technically, I'm going to lose because the luck of the rolls is not great. Sometimes it works wonderfully, and then the next minute, it went all downhill. Alright, so it's Riku's turn. Okay, so he got a lot of collects so far. And and speaking of which, he needs about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five um, collect symbols. So let's see if he has any collect symbols in his um, deck. Probably not, if my memory serves correctly. So I think what I'm going to do is that I am going to keep, I am going to keep this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm going to keep this. So let's go ahead and roll for roll again. Oh, a crown symbol. Yes, let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to activate Protect to have Riku's shield back up. And then I'm going to activate this. I'm going to activate the ability so that he could take one card, which is to ignore the Heartless symbol, and he gets to attack twice. So it goes right here. And I'm going to activate my attack probably about... Probably about three times. Yeah, probably about three times, which leads us to one, two, three. Just like that. And for the other crown symbol, I am going to set my distract. Right now, he has to roll five dice. He has to roll five dice right now. Let's see what he gets for the world. Uh-oh. That's not good. So that takes about... So they go back up to six. One, two... Three, four, five, six. Already we're losing. And then seven right here with the keyblade symbol. And then he takes some damage. Which he's not going to use his protect for. So far, in my mind, I I do decree and declare that I am about to lose this game. Technically, because we're about to lose two worlds that's going to be overrun by Box. Anyways, it's now Kyrie's turn. Let's see what she gets. Uh-oh. That's not good. Another Heartless symbol. She can either... She can either, like... Let's see, hold on. Does she have an ignore? No, she has a reroll. One reroll. But she's going to use that card so that she can re-roll this again. Alright, there you go. So, I think this track is what, what I'm going to keep right now. Um, and I'm also going to keep the crown symbol, protect two protections, and we gotta roll the second time and we're going to keep this one so right now I'm going to first activate my attack hold on I'm trying to think I'm going to activate my attack twice because we need to get it down for a notch just like that. Then she's going to she's going to activate her protection twice to get two shields. And then she's going to activate her distract. So that means that she can roll only about, let's see, uh th I guess three dice? No, yeah, no, it's two. Okay. So here's one. To, she has to she has to roll three dice, but it requires two blue ones and one black one because her distract uh, takes away something that involves rolling the world. So let's see what she gets. Hopefully it's good. And apparently it's not. It's definitely not. So one, two because of this one, and then it goes three, four. So, so far, we're going down to wire here. So far, this may be the final part of this game run, because 
we're about to lose Agrabah. Alright, you have to excuse me for a moment. I have to drink some water. I can stay hydrated. And now it is Riku's turn. Oh my goodness, he has another heart symbol. But he's going to use this card to ignore it. Simply because he is sick of getting getting these kinds of rolls. But he is going to keep two of the attacks. He's also going to keep two of the protections. And he's going to roll again. Ooh, ability. He could act a big act. So, so let's go ahead and activate the abilities twice in a row. First, we have to draw two cards, which is technically one, but because I have activated twice, it gets two cards. After rolling for the world, pick one die to ignore, which is exactly what he needs. And he has a collect. Then he's going to activate the protect to, to get his shield in full force, just like that. And then he's going to, and oh yeah, he has to attack twice because 1-2 for ability and 1-2 for the attack. So there we go. Now, he has to roll a world. And this is the nerve-wrecking part, because we're about to lose it, and we're about to lose the game. Just because if you lose two worlds that were overrun, then it's game over. Here we go. <sighs> Let's see, hold on. Distract is where he lose one card. Which is going to be this one. Which is going to be this one. And he went down to two health, so that means that he has to use his shield to protect himself from dying. And this does nothing. However, however, I do believe that this may go down twice because of the symbols that are stick together, meaning that just one. But it's still two because I roll a shield. Did I roll a shield? No, I just roll a, oh my goodness, so two for this and one for right here. Let's just say, so far it's not doing good, but if I would have, like, have Riku to use this card, which is to, like, roll, after rolling, you pick a thingamajig, so... What I choose, well technically what I choose, is I choose this one because it's going to be, you know... Are you serious? Every time when I try to pick up this marker, it always picks up the wrong thing, so... I don't know where I'm at anymore, so I'm kind of upset that this messed me over. There we go, so I'm at this one. So, if Riku could have used this card, then I would have chose this one, because it's going to mess me over. Like, it goes 1, 2, just like that. I wanted to play fair and stuff, but we're about to lose. That's one thing I, can, I just cannot bear this to happen. Even though I should not be upset with losing, but it's like, this is a cooperative kind of game. It's all about teamwork. So, hold on. Do I have all the dice? I don't know. I hope I did, because if not, then... Let's see. Hold on for a second. This is where it gets really frustrating.
so it looks like there's supposed to be five. I think I have five. So it's now Kyrie's turn, so we need to hurry this up. Oh my goodness, another one of these. We have to re-roll. Oh, she's going to take this black one for protection. She's going to take the attack. Distract. And now she's going to re-roll. And she's going to keep all of these. So, I'm going to activate this uh, protect so I can get one shield to have her shield to be in full force. Then I'm going I'm trying to decide whether if I should collect or not. I guess for one crown symbol, I'm going to have to collect something from this. And it's a distract. Wonderful. Then I'm going to use this for the attack so she can attack twice. One, two, just like that. And then for distract, she's going to have to roll three dice. So. Hold on. I got to make sure. So, four blue ones. Four blue ones, and she removes one die. Two of each. So, one, two. Yeah, it's definitely three dice that she has to roll for the world. So let's see what she gets. Another one of these things. She's going to lose the card again, which is this distract one. And what's even worse is that she is, that the Heartless are going back up twice for the collect. And for the protect, it's only once. So it does not matter if Riku uses this card. It's still a losing effort. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is where we're about to lose the game for the first time. So it's now Riku's turn. I don't have confidence that we're going to be able to save Aquaba. But he is going to um, get these. And he's going to get distract and one of these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to activate. I'm gonna activate to protect twice, so he so that his shield is back in full force. Then I'm going to activate. Did did I just roll a um a a, a crown symbol? I think so. Um. And I'm going to have Riku to draw a card because he's going to activate his ability. Roll three less blue ones for the world. That's good. Um, and then he's going to attack two times to prevent this from happening. One, two, and let's see. And, and because I have a crown symbol, I'm going to use it on attack again, so this goes only once. And then for distract, right here, it's going to have to roll three dice. So let's go ahead and see what we get for the world. And of course, we're back at the same position. One, two, three, because of this. And he's going to take some damage, but he's going to take it without using his shield. So already, our, we went, we're back to square one once again. It's now Kyrie's turn. And if she does not get this right, if she does not get anything, then we're screwed. But I could have used these cards if I wanted to. I just didn't know if it's the right time. Excuse me. So, I don't need protection. I don't need to collect anything. But, I do need this. I do need this. So, let's go ahead and roll again. Twice in a row. Ooh! 
Definitely needed this. Definitely needed that. And definitely needed this. Third time is the charm. Let's see. And bingo. So now we need to decide. First off, I think, for the sake of everything, did I just roll collect? I didn't want that. Did I just roll a, a, a sh uh, not a shield, did I roll um, a crown? Well, either way, I'm not going to be able to use it for whatever reason. So I'm going to go ahead and activate my attack three times with the wild symbols. Because one, two, three, we need to make sure we do not lose this world. And why did the music stop? Mm -hmm. There we go. And we're going to distract uh, twice, so that means that we're going to have to roll only three dice. Two blue ones, one black one. I'm going to save the, the cards for later. She, she wants to make sure that we get this. Okay, so we lose one card, which is this one. She could have used that one. I could have used that one for the, for the attack and stuff. But my strategy is a bit off. And then the heartless goes back up again, just like that. So we're almost about to lose, but not quite yet. So next up is Riku. Okay, so he definitely needs these two. He definitely needed this. And unfortunately, he cannot do anything with collect, so he's going to have to re-roll. Oh, another distract. And an attack, which we definitely need. So, what I'm going to do is, I am going to activate... I'm going to activate... Attack four times. Because why not? One, two, three, four. And then, we're going to distract by using only three dice. Alright, so let's roll for the world. We're not going to use the cards yet. And we've got ease that does nothing, but we, but the Heartless ends up going back up again. Alright, so, right now, my plan of being careful is working. Just a little bit. Alright, it's now Kyrie's turn. Let's see what she gets. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I see. Well, if any case, she needs to collect something out of the cards. Does need ability though. But let's see if she has something that can be useful. Well, for the sake of it, she could use, like, I think for the sake of things, she can use um, this twice, this three times, and she can use this as four and five. So, yeah, she's going to, she's going to keep those, but she doesn't need protection. What she needs is either distract or attack. Okay, she's going to keep attack. I don't know if that's necessary because I forgot if this is the last roll. But it does not matter because we can't do anything with that dice. So, I think she's going to use these t these cards to get her ability up. And, and because it's now into 5, she's going to ready her ability. Then she's going to activate two things. First off, to collect twice. So one, and two. Wait a minute, what's this? Perform one action twice. That's good. Uh, three abilities or do not roll for the world. Oh, I can just decide. That's good. Um, and then, and then she's going to attack only once. 
which leaves the hardness to go right here. So now she has to roll... So right now she has to roll uh, a dice right now. But what she can do... What she can do right now is she's going to use this card and she's going to decide not to roll for the world because the world is already at risk of being overrun by darkness. So that is, I think this is game three of this video. So make sure you leave a like to see game four. And also subscribe to the channel, the Queen of Hearts channel. Turn on these notifications so you won't miss a single upload. And I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, stay safe, have a wonderful day. And always remember one thing. May your hearts be your guiding key. Thank you.